Okay, let's do a few examples on powers and exponents. And the directions are telling us write out these expressions as multiplications and then solve them. So we have 5 raised to the third power. So that's basically saying 5 and uh, to the third power. And that's how you write it. So that's basically, that's like three fives. So 5 times 5 times 5. And we multiply. 5 times 5 is 25 times 5. So 25 times 5 is 5 times 5 is 5, carry the 2. 2 times 5 is 10, plus the 2 is 12. So our final answer would be 125. So this is a final answer to this question. Okay, the next is telling us rewrite each expression, expression using an exponent and then solve it. You may use a calculator. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it would be 2 to the 6th power. That's how you write it out using an exponent. Now we got to solve this. So I like to group them when I um when I'm doing this. Two times two is four. Two times two is four, and two times four is two times two is four. Okay, so four times four times four. So four times four is sixteen. Times four is six times four is twenty-four. Carry to two. Four times one is four. Plus two is six. So our final answer to this question would be 64. So that's the final answer to that one. Okay, let's go to our next example. We have express the area using exponents and solve. A square with a side of 12 kilometers. The area is 12 kilometers uh, squared. So we basically uh, squared. That means like it's raised to the two second power if you want to say it that way. So it's um, 12. We have two 12, so 12 times 12 is 144. So the area is 12 kilometers squared equals 144 kilometers squared. Okay, that's our answer for that question. Let's go to our next example. Express the volume using exponents and solve. A cube with a side of 2 centimeters. A cube basically means the 2 is raised to the third power. So it's like this, raised. So we basically do 2 times 2 times 2. So 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. So the volume is, is um, 8 cubic centimeters so that's the final answer for that question right there okay now we have fill in the patterns so let's say we have um, let's say we have 3 raised to the 1 power so that's basically just 3 3 raised to the, uh, I mean, 3 squared is basically 3 times 3, and that equals 9. 3 uh, raised to the third power is 3 times 3 times 3. So that would equal to 27. 3 um, raised to the fourth power would be 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 equals to 81, 3 raised to the 5th power would be 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, and that would equal to um, 243. And then we have 3 raised to the 6th power, it would be 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And that would give us 729 as our final answer. And as you can see, you can see the pattern right here. It goes from 3 to 9 to 27 to 81 to 243 to 729. 
when we raise the increase the powers. So let's now move on to a few exercise problems so we understand the concept. What are we doing here?